Housen County Schools are trying some different things to meet their students' social emotional needs. One of those things, a program that teaches children behavioral skills. Pepper Baker tells us why school leaders say it is needed for students in today's world. In the beginning of the year, like I didn't want to make a lot of friends. I just wanted to um, stay like with my uh, closest friends. Cameron Hicks says sixth grade was a bit overwhelming, but a special program at his school made it easier to adapt. Second step is a social emotional learning curriculum. And over the course of this last year, we implemented second step in our pre-K classrooms and in our sixth grade classrooms. Students develop people skills in talking through their emotions through a video program and open class discussion. School counselor Jay Woods says it's made a difference. I can tell you for me this year, the number of counselor referrals went down because, well, there's this program where kids were building a stronger relationship with that teacher that they're with. And they sometimes they would share with them. We learned like, how to accept each other and like not to bully each other and things like that. The nearly $400,000 grant will expand the social emotional learning program to all of the district's elementary and middle schools, impacting over 21,000 students next year. Wood and Kennedy say it's a proactive approach to help students navigate bigger issues. The mass shootings you hear about, it's a kid that's been isolated. Well, now we're dedicating an hour every week to build relationships. They need to be taught how to, how to use social media in appropriate ways, just like they have to be taught how to interact in appropriate ways. My initial thought, thoughts were, I don't really need this. Um, I'm just not going to pay attention. But by like the third episode and at the end, I was like, that could really help me in life. In Houston County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Also today, Bibb County Schools say they've received a state grant to fund a similar program called Ripple Effects to help at-risk students with social-emotional learning.